going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Eric from the Beamer Fam. My dad finally let me drive his car. <laughs> How long you had this? My dad, sorry, my, my dad recording this right now. Maybe about four months, five months? Five months. So I've been patiently waiting, finally to feel comfortable with me driving a car. I'm gonna give you guys a nice proper review. First things first, let's come check the car out. This is a 2016 BMW 750i X-Drive M Sport. So it's got the 20 inch. M staggered wheels, got the M performance exhaust, 450 ish horsepower, and I mean, this thing just looks absolutely beautiful. That's probably the best part about the car. This has to be my favorite looking 7 Series out of any generation, just in my opinion. Ever since the E38 7 Series after that, have really been my, my favorite, I guess, since then, since the James Bond one. Um, but this one, it really cuts the cake for me. I mean, just look at it. modifications or anything my dad's kept his car pretty stock it's got the little black grill in the front still keeping the little air inlets chrome so it gives it a nice touch with the gray color so the paint is magellan gray metallic it's one of the most beautiful bmw 7 series colors probably out there one little thing i'm going to thinking about doing is adding a little spoiler on the rear just to accent the rear nothing crazy okay. kind of like the 760 did but not the 760 style but something that just kind yeah, of accents the rear end more of like a sporty let us know what you guys think about a rear spoiler on the 7 series i'm uh, not not trying to make it an m7 or anything like that just trying to give it more of a you know aggressive presence on the road and everything like that so definitely let us know what you guys think about that I mean, enough talking about it let's get in the car and drive it <laughs> wow the first thing i noticed is uh i mean this is a massive car but when you're driving it it kind of feels like a smaller sedan but like as a passenger i feel like you know the car is real spacious and big but it doesn't it doesn't feel like that at all when you're driving it i think i already get it <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of cool functions in this car like uh, if you want to turn the radio up you can use hand gestures I'll show you guys can hear the sound Not only does it feel fast in sport mode, like you get, you get the drama effect, uh, you can feel the, the gear shifts and stuff, but also the numbers translate and correspond directly with the, the inertia and stuff that you're feeling within the cockpit. I mean, the thing's fast. I mean, it's, it's quick, it's borderline fast. I can imagine it's a tune on this car, nothing crazy, maybe just like a stage one tune. It doesn't really even need an exhaust. I mean, you could do something with the cats to make it louder, but you don't even need this car to be loud. You could just tune it and this thing, this thing's fast. You could beat a lot of cars with this thing. Yeah, I think BME set the stage one tune on this car is close to 100 horse. I think it's 90 something. Really? Horse. So that's looking around 550 horsepower. All will drive. Time to think about that, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You can hear some pops. <laughs> it reminds me a lot of, it just reminds me of a more luxurious, heavier version of my car. But the V8, the sound is similar, it's just more quiet because it's turbos. The, the actual amount of horsepower is similar, 450 compared to 400. But this is turbocharged, mine's naturally aspirated. So they, they feel around the same, wouldn't you say? Oh uh, yeah. In terms of how much power is coming out. I feel like I this puts it down better because of all the may, drive. That may be. You know what I mean? But yours feels more violent. When you hit it's, the gears, yeah. that it, thing feels... It's more raw. Yeah. Yeah. I like that feel. 
for the if you're gonna have an M, you want a raw feel, right? Yeah, power is very similar. It's just delivered in different ways. Nice. <laughs> I'm just picturing my dad on the way to work in the morning with my little brother in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Occasionally hit sport mode. Him telling me to hit sport yeah. mode. Yeah. <laughs> this thing is a spaceship. I mean, just how it looks, all the high end materials used. We've got like, I don't even know, aluminum all across the HVAC controls and like where you put the CD in. This right here is a touch screen. You can adjust your seats. That's balling right there. I mean, I don't really see much plastic in here at all. All this right here is aluminum. Where you roll down the windows, aluminum. Start, stop, engine button, aluminum. I would consider this a premium car. <laughs> oh, so they come at a premium price. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> so how much did these go for a sticker? I think the sticker on this one was like 103. I say it's worth every penny. How's the gas on this? That's Just about like, at around 25. 25 combined? On the highway. On the highway? Yeah, I spend most of my time on the highway. So. What's probably the best gas mileage you've gotten in this car? From my stretch of highway, going to and from work, I'd say I think I've gotten 27. I guess it's not the best gas mileage. No. Technically, it is a big car. It is V8, you know, bigger engine, higher higher horsepower. Um, I mean, it's better than what they used to be. You can look <laughs> at it that way. <laughs> but, I mean, you, you don't buy this car looking to save pennies on gas. I feel like my car is the most pure and like authentic BMW I've driven, but this is the most smooth and just well balanced. I can't think of a gray area in this car. It does everything it needs to do and nothing more. Like a, like a CEO or something like that. You need to have a, a super important phone conversation when you're driving on the way or dinner to something. You get caught off guard and someone hits your phone telling you some urgent or important news. You can have such a good conversation in here talking about that. Or like top secret plans or something like that. Or Captain Kirk talking to Spock. Captain Kirk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you don't wear a suit to work just to wear a suit to work. <laughs> you know, at the same time, it's fun. So we're in comfort mode right now. You don't even feel the gears change at all. This car is high tech. It's got a full digital display. We have three different driving modes. We've got Sport, Comfort, Eco Pro. And then what is this adapt? Adapt. Okay, so the adaptive pretty much adapts to the uh, like the terrain and stuff around you. It's still sporty though in comfort compared to like a, a Mercedes. It doesn't just feel dull. I, I don't know. I found Mercedes just to be more luxurious. You can still feel the sportiness in this and just like the steering is more tight. I mean the engine itself, you can still hear it. It's not that loud, but it shouldn't be that loud. It's a seven series, you know what I mean? So eight speed automatic transmission this specific one has the m sport package so you get m on the door sills the alcantara headliner which is also the m sport package you get black window trimming accents along the sides black grill in the front as well oh yeah and the m performance exhaust so it gives it a nice kind of growl the power's there Denzel got to have one of these. I mean, <laughs> someone of that caliper, you got to have one of these cars. You can still drive it, but still have the experience of a, like an S-Class or a super luxurious sedan. Ooh, it sounds nice. You can hear some uh, burbles and crackles on the shifts, kind of like in the, the M4, like the DCTM cars. It'd be nice to have some crackles. Yeah, I thought about that. You can still feel the weight. It's still a pretty heavy car. I mean, it should be. It's got all the, the thick leather, all the technology, heads-up display, auto-closed doors. So you got to look at this car like it's not a performance car. It's just straight, you know, more of a luxury car. But what I love about it is it has more of a sportiness aspect than you would expect. Wow, just like that, I just drove my dad's car. Man, I've been waiting a long time to do that. I've asked him so many times. You guys have been asking me to ask him to get him to hand me the keys over to the 7 Series. But man, it's been fun. I mean, that car is beautiful. I'm not doing the classic BMW driver drives. 
Uh, this is just something I, you know, my dad let me drive his car kind of thing. You know what I mean? Let me know what you guys think about the 7 Series. The thing is absolutely stunning. Look how aggressive. It's like a bat going back into his cave, though. We'll definitely be keeping you guys updated with more content on that car. We're going to be hopefully adding some few small modifications to the car soon. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.